There are a few things that are hurting your marketing, and today we're gonna stop them and do cool stuff instead that's gonna help your marketing. Hi everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down three things that you shouldn't be doing in marketing for 2022 and what you should be doing instead. In marketing, what used to be the best practices a few years ago are now a completely waste of time. Not for everything, but for most things. Why? Because everyone else is doing them, they're super saturated, they're super competitive, and they don't work as well. So you gotta start doing new things. I'm talking about activities that aren't really gonna help you get a lot of progress, generate you a lot of revenue, or create impact for your clients or your own business, especially if you're working as a marketer for multiple clients. So let's go over these activities. Number one, manual repetitive marketing tasks. I hate to break it down for you, but if you're doing some of these tasks manually, you're setting yourself up for failure. Back in the day, I used to see a lot of people doing SEO research manually instead of doing tools. Let's say I was writing a piece of content and I wanna rank specifically for the keyword like dog food. I would go to Google, I would search for that keyword, analyze the top 10 sites manually, one by one, the top positions, see what they rank for, uh, for other keywords, the links that they're getting, their title tags, their meta descriptions, and the list would go on and on. Nowadays, I just plug in those URLs into tools like Ubersess, and it tells me what's working, what's not, who's ranking, what keywords they use, what other keywords they rank for. And if you do this, you'll save time. There's also a tool that I've been using that helps me do a lot of those manual marketing tasks automatically. It's called UiPath. If you haven't seen UiPath, make sure you check it out. Number two, running marketing efforts that provide no value at all when it comes to revenue. Here's what I mean. Social media marketing is great. SEO is great. Paid advertising is great. But if they don't drive revenue, what's the point? I have a lot of people on my team telling me, Neil, this new social network came out called Clubhouse. You need to check it out. This was back in the day. You know what I did? I barely participated on Clubhouse. Why? Who wanted to be on a social network that you actually had to be there all the time? How was I gonna generate tons of revenue from that? There was no way to link out to my site. But you need to look at the ROI. If you're not getting an ROI for a channel, try conversion rate optimization. That's the, that's the effort or the marketing strategy of taking those visitors and converting them into customers. Or you may try to do Instagram stories where you talk about your product and tell people to swipe up so they can buy from you. But when you try a handful of these tactics and eventually if you're making very little ROI, I'm not saying push away that channel and neglect it forever or not even do it because there's some value in building a brand and you need to be there for your customers to communicate with you. Did you know that over 84% of consumers wanna be able to communicate with people, the businesses that they interact with or people they interact with and do business with through social media? you need to be on these channels. But if they don't produce an ROI, you don't need to be on them 10 hours a day. Figure out the right time for you and trim them down. And then focus the extra hours that you've saved on the channels that provide a better ROI. Number three, studying marketing disciplines that you're not applying. I blog about marketing. I create video content. What's wrong with watching all my videos and reading all my content and that's it? Well, if you just do that, and you don't implement anything, you're not gonna get results. Leave a comment below, be honest. I'm here to help, that's why I'm telling you to be honest. How many pieces of video and content have you read and how much of it have you actually applied to your website or your business or your client's website? If you're barely applying anything, stop reading my stuff. I know that it hurts me to say that, but it's best for you. I don't want you to keep reading and watching my stuff over and over again and not implement anything. You can watch some of my stuff, you can read some of my stuff, but spend more time implementing than trying to learn from me. That'll get you better results than just reading my stuff or someone else's stuff. You need to focus on execution. That's what drives results in marketing. If you need help with your marketing, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell the people about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to answer and help you out.